Hey everybody, Fuller here. I uh, figured I'd show you a way that I've uh, broken down the doomed for mostly my own purposes, but I figured, uh, what the heck, if I'm doing this kind of legwork, I might as well share it. So what I've got here is a spreadsheet that I've created full of information on the horrors that you can find in the doomed. Uh, Basically, I went down by their name and how many models there is in the horrors, their minions if they have any, and how many of those minions there will be maxed. Uh, and these last two categories are sort of subjective. They're how I interpreted them via their very limited lore entries. Uh, basically, the alignment of the horror and the archetype of the horror. What I mean by archetype? Uh, basically, what sort of form they take. So, how I broke this down was is that I started with the five sort of terror-based horrors, or what I'm calling the alpha horrors. These five horrors that show up when you have a terror uh, conclusion to the based conclusion to the game. Uh, these being uh, d dominations, uh, which is the overlord, hatred, which is the blood takers. Hunger, which is the Living Swarm, Alpha, uh, Oblivion, which is the Annihilator, and Ruin, which is Risen Heat. I broke these down into five things when I read the descriptions. For me, the Overlord and his Stormtroopers, to me, they're humanoid. Well, what do you mean by humanoid? Uh, humanoid would mean uh, someone who is human in appearance. Maybe not necessarily human-sized, but human-shaped. Um, you know, two arms, two legs, that sort of a deal. Uh, for the blood takers, uh, hatreds, alpha, uh, the archetype that came to my mind was devil. Uh, the blood takers and their bloodlings, um, to me, they said more like blood letters from, or demons, devil. So I, that's why I named them devils, is because they remind me of the blood letters, uh, sort of. Uh, agents of corn from 40k so just put down devil uh, the monster archetype was hunger it's the living swarm and the swarmlings maybe not necessarily like a big monster but a lot of little monsters um, for oblivion I put down phantom because you have this annihilator and it's shades and it's all talking about how it's this sort of just being of like wisps and darkness so to me that was like ghostly phantom uh, so i created the phantom archetype but last but not last least we have ruin we have the risen heap and his widow knights to me this said a machine this is a creature created from like the rusted ruins and heaps of the war wars have gone by in this destroyed world so to me, it was this sort of like ad hoc machine and its keepers. So with these five archetypes, I tried to match every single one of the 36 lesser horrors or just generic horrors into an archetype, one of these five archetypes and one of these five um, uh, one of these five terror alignments. Uh, I won't go over all of them, because otherwise we'll be here all night, but just to give you an idea of like how I came to what. Uh, let's see here. The Red Witch, the Broken Hags, Domination. The Red Witch is sort of this creature of control. That's what Domination is all about, control. Uh, to me, it was very humanoid. Uh, Hatred, the Rage Angel, and the Swordborn, to me, immediately said Devil. Again, very, like, cornate. Um, I would go to hunger here. Uh, the devourer and his six scavengers. To me, that that's a monster. It's a big, big, chompy, chompy monster. Uh, oblivion. Uh, let's see here. Oblivion's got a few machines. Uh, the Battle Strider. Battle Strider is like this machine from another world that's here to kill things. To me, that was very Oblivion. Oblivion's just all about murdering stuff. 
uh, burn the world down before you can rebuild it. Uh, Ruin. Ruin is mostly phantoms. Just about everything that was ghostly to me was very ruin based. Um, uh, in this case, we'll go with like the Winter Harvester and uh, their three Pale Knights. So by compiling all this information, uh, I've come to a few conclusions. Uh, first off, uh, there are 36 single model horrors. Uh, what I mean by that, uh, by counting up the number of horrors that are just a single model entity, uh, there are 36 models that are uh, single model horrors, which means there's just one horror in their in their grouping or they're a solo. There are five teamed horrors, which are the horrors that have more than one model as the horror itself, such as the blood takers. Uh, there are 28 horrors with minions and 13 horrors without minions which means the rarest types of horror groupings are teamed horrors and horrors without mutings, mu uh, minions at five teamed based horrors and 13 horrors that are just solo. Uh, of the alignments that I've compiled, it comes down to seven horrors aligned with to domination, eight aligned to hatred, seven aligned to hunger, six aligned to oblivion, eight aligned to ruin, and then your five major alphas. Um, based on archetype, there are, in the devil category, we have six single horrors with a maximum of three minions, uh, and you have the single, then you have the hatred alpha of four horrors and six minions. Uh, humanoid, you have three single horrors with a max of six minions, two horror teams of with three minions, and uh, one horror team of 20, and a domination alpha of one horror and nine minions. That's your humanoid. Uh, your machine-based horrors, you have six single horrors with a maximum of five minions, uh, four single horrors, and a ruin alpha with one horror and four minions. That's your machine-based ones. For monster archetype, you have four single horrors with a max of six minions, one horror team of two with six minions, a hunger alpha with one horror and ten minions. And then for phantom, we have six single horrors with a maximum of three minions, one single horror, an oblivion alpha with one horror and six minions. Uh, I then use this information to kind of come to a conclusion of like the bare minimum amount of models you will need for horrors uh, based on these types. Uh, for devil, uh, you would have one devil and three minions. That's what you would need for the devil archetype. Uh, your, if you, my choice for this would be the burning brute and the three embers. That gives you a domination theme. Uh, for the humanoids, we have three humanoids with six minions, and, and obviously your single twenty-man humanoid horror mob. Uh, this would be the Forsaken for the horror mob. The Forsaken are the 20 just humanoid kind of... They're basically a zombie horde or a, a mob of rioters, depending on how you read the lore. So, obviously, for the 20 humanoid horror mob, that's the Forsaken. And then I chose for the three humanoid horrors, the Warped Hunters and the six minions, the Ashen Fanatics. This gives you a hunger and oblivion leaning uh, group of models. I figure the warped hunters are supposed to be sort of these kind of cloaked hunters. They're they've got guns and stuff. Uh, so I figure one of the warped hunters could be modeled to be the leader of the Ashen Fanatics. Uh, with the machine category, you would need one machine and five minion models. I chose the exterminator and his grunts for hatred. And for that, you would probably just need to make like a terminator looking guy and some lesser terminators. Uh, for the two monsters and six minions, for me, that was pretty simple. Uh, it's the twin leapers and their spawn. Uh, that was that was just an that was just an instant pick for me. And to me, they are very much part of oblivion. Uh, for the phantom category, you would need one phantom and three minions. Uh, to me, this was the sin echo and its wicked traces. And that gives you ruin. And that covers sort of all of your themes for monsters. 
uh, then you would need three generic Nexus models. Uh, Nexuses can be modeled specifically to certain models, but I find since you only ever need three at a given time, uh, then that's all you're ever going to need is three Nexus models. So if you kind of create just sort of three generic Nexus models, you'll be fine. Um, oh, and then I was starting to talk about comparing the factions with their gear, but uh, I can talk about that in another video. Um, but yeah, th that's kind of the big takeaway for me is this right here. This chunk right here. That is... I think for those of you who are just getting into this and don't won't necessarily have the quite literally like I tallied it up that if you had um, just sort of like yeah you're you're gonna need a lot of things you're gonna need a lot of horrors uh, and a lot of minions uh, something to the tune of a little bit over a hundred models once you add them all up um, Actually, I suppose we can uh, we can do some quick maths here. So this is going to be a little interesting. So the total amount of models you're going to need for your alpha, and I think you should build like special ones of the alphas and their minions um just because that's a fun modeling project these are very like these are the big baddies so to me it makes a lot of sense to have the the, the five big big dogs make unique versions of them uh so let's let's tally them up real quick we got uh four and four so that's eight yeah so that's eight models right there and then you need good lord so you're gonna need nine stormtroopers six bloodlings ten swarmlings six shades and four Widow Knights. So you're already up to 35 models right there with just these guys. And uh, then if you want unique uh, Nexuses for all five, that's an additional 15 models right there. So you're already up to 50 models just for, uh, just to cover the big bad guys here. So, if you wanted to make sort of a nebulous big bad guy model and a bunch of minion kind of themed minions to them, then I would make four big bads and ten minions. So then you could that would be the bare minimum you would need. And then you could still just use your generic three nexuses right there. So let's throw the nexuses out right there because as far as nexus is concerned you want to know how many nexus unique nexus models you're going to need to take 45 because that's how many or no not 45 there are 41 total horrors including the alphas you multiply that by three yeah now you're starting to see why you only want just the three generic nexus models maybe if you wanted to get with it you could make three Nexuses that are themed to the the terror alignments, but if you wanted to do one for every single one of these guys, you'd be looking at 123. So just get just make three generic ones. Stick with that. But oof, man, uh, it's quite a bit. So yeah, we're already up to th 35. Yeah, 35 models just for if you're doing the big the big five. And let's see here. Um, I already know that there's 36 single modeled horrors. So that's 36 models on top of that. 
you have five teamed horrors, which are the ones that are teamed up. Uh, wait a minute, no. I... Minus 36. I would need... I don't think that was counting the alphas. I think that was actually... This was... Yeah, this was totaled with the alphas, so that's not proper. Okay, so... We need all of these fellows. Of them, one, two, three, four are. Okay, so. 36 minus four is 32. So that's 32. So 67 models. Then we take the ones that are grouped up. Let's see here, six, 20. 26, 28. So you're up to 95 models just on horrors alone right now. Um, or no, that's for horrors and all the big fives minions. So let's count our minions. Uh, We're looking at these. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen without. And most of these guys are cover the gambit. So one, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. 18, 21, 27, 33, 34, 39, 45, 48, 51, 55, 60, 62, 65, 67, 70, 72, 75, 79, 85, Oh, we're okay wait a minute what was I at 85 minus 6 79 minus 4 75 okay plus your 75 minions it's a total of 170 models that is for all horrors and all minions 75 who boy a lot of models um that's why you kind of probably want to stick if you're just getting started with this bare minimum right here for your non-alpha horrors and then let's uh let's do here model bare minimum for Alpha horrors. Would be four horrors and I believe nine minions. I oh, know, 10. So four horrors and 10 minions. Any theme. That, at that point, choose a uniform look. All right, so let's go over that again. So, bare minimum of models you will need for your non-alpha horrors. If you're going off of themings, uh, like the themes that I've built, you want a nice variety. One devil and three minions. Uh, if you want to theme them around a specific one, I'd say the Burning Brute, it's three em embers. 
uh, three humanoids and six minions and your 20 human aid hoyer mob for the forsaken uh, then i would model the warped hunters and the ashen fanatics which i believe is part of the gray circle um See if I can find those guys. Yeah, the gray circle. So the gray circles minions, the the uh, the ashen fanatics. I'm getting sidetracked. So yeah, three humanoid, six minion minions, and a twenty humanoid horror mob. Um, uh, you'll need one machine and five minions. Two monsters and six minions, one phantom and three minions, and your three nexus models, and then for your big boys, your big scaries, four horrors and ten minions. Choose a uniform look. That's... That's how I'm going about it. Um, obviously, if you want to have even less to worry about, uh, then I would look at the biggest team of horrors is the Alphas for Hatred, which is the Blood Takers. And the biggest amount of... Yeah, the biggest amount of minions is Swarmlings, which is the Alpha of Hunger. Actually, no, the biggest amount of horrors is the Forsaken at a model count of 20, and then minions of 10 Swarmlings. So, let's do another bear bear minimum. Thirty models. Bare, bare minimum for horrors and minions, you would need 30 models. Uh, 20 to make the... 20 to cover your... Uh, 20 to cover your Forsaken, 10 to cover your Swarmlings. That's pretty much it. Um, I will, I'll put a link to this document in, um, in the description of the video, so y'all can kind of peer review, check my work, if you've got the rule book on hand, maybe I missed something, maybe I forgot something, maybe I didn't read a rule all the way in, I did my best, so, I don't know, maybe y'all could let me know, uh, but that's about it, sorry that this was just sort of a slideshow, uh, but, I uh, didn't really know about how else to go about this. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, do all that crap. You know, ring the bell, all that stuff. And um, I'll see you in the next one.